Hey, it's me. Today we have a lot to talk about and I don't want to waste your time. So let's directly jump into it. As from the title of the video, you already know, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 14.3. So open your favorite browser and iDevice.com, your one-stop site for all jailbreaking related news, jailbreaking related resources, Apple news and all that stuff. Why I'm showing you this? Because in an order to perform this method, which you are currently watching, iOS 14.3 Windows jailbreak, you need to download certain files and all the links plus a written guide will be here on my blog. So if you want to just quickly access all the links in an organized manner, I'll just update my website with a new blog, which is jailbreak iOS 14.3 with PC. But if you don't want to go that way, you can just simply search for download Ubuntu and the first site that will come, just click on it and hit on the green download button. For those who don't know, and for those who already know, bear with me for a second, uh, you cannot directly run Checkrain which is a utility to jailbreak our device directly on windows you need to jump to ubuntu and then run linux i'll explain every single thing as we go through the video so sit back and just do everything as i'm doing search for download rufus and then just click on the first link that comes in again all the links will be uh, will be on my blog and the link to my blog will be down in the description below by the way no ads no affiliate links and nothing like that it's just a site so that you can understand everything in an easy and organized manner so you'll see a big download button which does not work for some reason so just click on rufus 13.3 whatsoever and the download for rufus software will start straight away so uh, for the sake of windows these are the two required downloads then jump to the location where you have already installed these things or already downloaded these things rather and then click on Rufus 13.3. Hit yes and then minimize your explorer. So as you can see, this here is Rufus software which is a powerful software. The next thing you have to do is just quickly bring in your pen drive and then plug it in your PC. I already did that so you can see this is an 8 GB pen drive that I plugged in and now this is a tricky part so i recommend you listening it very carefully click on the select button you have to select that ubuntu iso file here in rofis software so once you do that just click on start hit yes anything that comes in hit yes okay and everything like that and another thing i also want to mention that all data in your drive will be destroyed so back up everything in your pen drive so for those who didn't understood, well, I explained it as best as I can, but simply download Ubuntu and then download Rufus. Just open Rufus, plug in your pen drive, select the Ubuntu ISO file here in Rufus and let it do its work. I'll fast forward the video so that you don't have to wait. And now, as you can see, it's done. Isn't that cool? Uh, no. Okay. The next thing you gotta do is just click on the windows icon just click on the power button and shut down your pc completely don't worry nothing is going to happen to your windows pc the next thing you have to do is boot your pc while continuously pressing a key to enter in one time boot menu and how on earth you know which is the key to enter in one time boot menu usually it's f12 or f2 but i'll link a full article down in the description below as well as on my blog so i'll just power on my pc and spam f12 key which is the key to enter in one time boot menu for this dell laptop and you can see preparing one one time boot menu and this will take you to one time boot menu and do remember that your usb drive your thumb drive or whatever you want to call it should be plugged in just use those arrow keys to go down a bit and click on uefi sandisk press enter and now uh, you should see Ubuntu click on enter and you have five seconds to do so because in five seconds if you don't do anything it will just automatically boot to Ubuntu and that we don't want and now for some reason this checks our disk press ctrl c for two three times and then it will register the key and then it will skip all the disk checking and all that weird stuff and directly take you to Ubuntu then we can jailbreak our iPhone and by the time it's going there let me quickly show you iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.3 we'll go to settings scroll all the way down so now you can see this 
shiny little Ubuntu hair. Um, I think it's better than Windows. Uh, so we'll click on try Ubuntu. We don't even need to install it on our USB drive or our hard drive. We don't need to remove Windows. Many people think that in an order to jailbreak, we need to install Ubuntu and remove Windows. No, you can just directly run it without even installing anything. You just need a USB stick. Once you do that, everything is set up. Now we are here in Ubuntu and everything should go on very fine. The next thing just you can just get familiar with the operating system you can change your backgrounds and i think this one is a perfect match with this light operating system so we are not talking about backgrounds in this video we will just do a simple thing just click on this battery icon click on wi-fi and hit select network if again for some reason your wi-fi card is not working which is very unlikely to happen you need to get an external Wi-Fi card, but for 99.99% laptops, because if it works in Windows, it will work here in Ubuntu. You can see it's connecting. Now, we'll hit on show applications. We'll jump to Firefox. It doesn't have Google Chrome by, inst by default installed or Microsoft Explorer, and it just has Firefox. So you can open my blog over here to get all the links plus commands to use in terminal. If you don't want to, you can just head over to the description. The next thing, I'll zoom in a little bit so that it's easy for you to understand everything. Just, just you can see this looking for another OS, just click on this see alternative downloads button and it will show you all the downloads. The thing which we have to download is click on download for Linux cli x86 underscore 64 because we are not running mac os we are running this linux so do not download anything else it will not work we just 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 click on save file and it will download it's a pretty small file now this step is really important open files and we'll go to downloads and here this is we'll minimize this for a second go to show applications Type it terminal in the search window and you can see this is the terminal for this Ubuntu. So go back to Firefox, click on the little back button and again now you have to click on the big download button and it will take you to this installing on Linux page. Now you'll see all these commands. So you have to copy and paste those in terminal. So we'll skip this add our it just needs to explain you so we'll start from echo to dot list we'll copy this we'll go to terminal and you cannot just press ctrl v in terminal for some reason we'll hit enter we'll minimize this we'll just add it again from sudo to dot key this is important many people add these also which is just for you to explain this is not what you have to put in terminal so you have to start the other command from sudo to dot key hit on enter and it will do its magic the next command is sudo apt update will copy this paste it here will press enter now it will do its magic and you're back here the next thing the next command you have to type is not there on their website it's down in the description below as well as on my blog it's just cd downloads which is change the directory to downloads we'll do the same thing so make sure you keep uh, the first d of downloads capital once you do that the next thing you have to type chmod plus x check in i'll do the same thing once done hit enter then dot slash no you have to type sudo dot slash check rain we'll hit on enter and boom check rain 12.1 beta here on our ubuntu machine running we'll uh, get our phone which is running on ios 14.3 we'll keep it at a side and now you have to bring a high quality lightning cable this is really important many people just bring a third party lightning cable which is very poor i mean by poor i mean like you cannot transfer data using that 
uh, cable so we'll bring this lightning cable which came with the box and i'm sure it can transfer data so we can jailbreak our device we'll plug it in our pc and for some reason this is really important if you don't know how to plug this lightning port into your ios device uh, it's very tricky i know but you just want to like snap it in like this and it will connect your phone now this is really important you need to trust your computer and if you don't do that you'll face errors errors and errors you won't be able to jailbreak our device so we'll hit on try again and now we are very welcomed with an error message the error message says that iphone 7 is supported but ios 14.3 is not hmm just go on this options click on enter scroll above using these arrow keys and then press enter while you are on allow untested ios and ipad os versions this will be basically put a check mark which is an x on this and this is again really important if you are running iphone 8 8 plus and iphone 10 you have to click on this skip a11 bpr check only when if you are running on a11 devices including some ipads plus iphone 8 8 plus and iphone 10 and now we can start jailbreaking our device click on enter and i'll just remove my case so that i can easily grip my phone and then jailbreak it and yeah just click on okay it will say your device may fail to boot blah 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 nothing will happen many people just ask me the same question what is the maximum thing that can happen if we fail to jailbreak our device imagine we unplugged our device the most that can happen is it will just basically boot back to ios and nothing will happen just click on start follow the on-screen instructions it's saying me to hold the side button for like five seconds and release it while keep holding the side button which is the volume down button for like more 10 seconds so that we can enter in dfu mode and now it will jailbreak our device so you can see on our screen right before triggered and it's doing all of its process you can see here and as you can see all done our device is now jailbroken and once you uh, boot your device you'll see nothing because you have to wait for a couple of seconds before the check in icon appears suddenly it appears open check in and just quickly connect to wi-fi connection now i've connected to wi-fi open check in and it will say unable to fetch bootstraps hit on retry cydia install cydia and it will download base system okay now that you have jailbroken your device install cydia install some good tweaks and have fun either way that's been it hope you guys have enjoyed it catch you all very soon peace